So I'm Timia Tihanyi. I'm originally from Hungary. It didn't come from a culture that appreciated art so much, so it was never a path. So I went to medical school and then um, I took a class in ceramics and that got me hooked. And, and yeah, I started doing art. For a long time, my work was very um, abstractly about the body. And there are lots of things that are still in the work now that, that I, I do think about as um, somehow because of my medical background. So I'm married to a mathematician and that's been inspiring um, me a lot and working with mathematicians, following their research and the way they thought it would be interesting to visualize something really complex that doesn't exist. And that's how um, I got into using technology and in particular digital 3D printing. 3D printing in porcelain and that's a really new area of development. It's somewhere seated somewhere between ceramics and design, technology, engineering and computer science. I actually blew glass before. I really suck at it. This was many many years ago so I haven't really returned to this. I'm really interested in how the two materials, clay, in particular porcelain, and glass are common. They share common ingredients. There are lots of things that are um, similar, but the way they respond to, to heat and the, the temperature when they become soft and, hot and hard, that's an, that creates an interesting contrast. The project that I brought here is to try to marry the, the two. Um, didn't quite surprise me that it turned out the way it turned out after the, the first day of trying. Did you ask the guys if this could be cold worked still to finish off the top? I know every every medium has this kind of like the inner rules of what's what's okay and what's not okay. So probably cracks in glass are not welcome. I do I do like those stamp cracks though. They're momentary objects. Yeah. Okay. I understand that too. I brought my camera. I will take pictures and. Uh, I mean, I clearly don't want to be the person who tries to do the same dumb thing over and over and sees no improvement. Um, so I think we are switching gears now and using the molds, making pretty much the same forms, but making them in glass and then, then saving them and, and using them similarly. This is the moment where everything comes together. We've been working so hard. What I found today in the working process was really interesting because there is kind of like a ghostly quality of, uh, to the objects being encased in a layer and that, that layer is inaccessible to the touch being in this bell jar shaped form. So I, I think that's as sort of like as a symbolic or a metaphoric idea is really interesting. Right now I haven't made a, a ton of plans, so I guess we can say it's a bit of a research. Anything could potentially take me to the next place. <laughs>